This is Mr. Martin. These are the math analysis uh, video notes uh, for derivatives. We've uh, talked a little bit about derivatives already. So if, um, if you remember the definition of a uh, derivative, uh, the derivative of a function f with respect to f, um, if the function is, that should be is, is the function f prime whose value at x is f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of um, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So we did a whole bunch of problems um, using this, which is our uh, difference quotient. And we can use it to find the derivative. So let's look at one example. Um, another way you may see this is it may say differentiate. So we want to look, we want to find the derivative. So we're going to use our theorem here. So we know that f prime of x is going to be 3 times x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h plus 3. So substituting in um, x plus h for all our x's. And then we're going to subtract f of x. So that's 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. And then this is all going to be over h. So let's do a little bit of simplifying here. Um, actually, this should also be the limit. So the limit as h approaches 0. I'm going to FOIL this out and then multiply by 3 at the same time. Um, so that's going to be 3x squared. And then when we FOILed that out, it would be 2xh times 3. So that's plus 6xh. And then again, when we FOILed that out, it would be h squared, so plus 3h squared. And then I have to distribute that 2, so minus 2x, minus 2h, plus 3. I'm going to distribute the minus over there, minus 3x squared, plus 2x, minus 3. And again, this is all over h. So um, again, if we did this right, everything that doesn't have an h in it um, should cancel out. So we have 3x squared minus 3x squared here, so those cancel out. And then I have a minus 2x and a plus 2x and a plus 3 and a minus 3. So now I can divide out everything that's left. So I've got this term, this term, and this term that are left. I'm going to divide through by h. So I'm left with the limit as h approaches 0. Uh, 6x h divided by h is just 6x. 3h squared divided by h is 3h. And then uh, minus 2h uh, divided by h is minus 2. And then we can solve uh, the limit by direct substitution, substituting in uh, 0 for h. So this is going to be 6x plus 3 times 0 minus 2, which turns out to be 6x minus 2. So there's our derivative. And again, we could use that to find the slope at any point on the curve if we wanted to. <coughs> but this is how we're going to find the, um, or how we know how to find the derivative already. Uh, so today, what we're going to look at are um, some rules that we can use to uh, find derivatives that are a lot uh, simpler and a lot quicker. And uh, there's a lot less uh, places to make mistakes. Now, keep in mind, you do need to know how to do this method. Um, you know, but make sure you follow the directions on quizzes or tests. If it says use the difference quotient, make sure you use the difference quotient. Um, otherwise, if it says use the rules for differentiation, you can use what we're going to talk about today. All right, and just a reminder about the different notations for derivatives. Um, make sure you read through these. Just, again, some different uh, notations. We're going to use some of these today as well in the video. Um, so go back and read those. So let's take a look at uh, rules for differentiation. Um, we can use the difference quotient to find the derivative of a function, but like I mentioned, there's a number of rules uh, that make finding a derivative of a function quicker and easier. So the first one we have is the derivative of a constant function. So um, df dx 
is equal to uh, d dx of a constant c is going to be 0. So anytime we take uh, the derivative of a constant, it's going to be 0. And then here's one of the most important ones that we're going to talk about, the power rule, because we're going to use this all the time. So d dx of some uh, function x to the n is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. So we basically, we take this and we move it out to the front. And if there's a coefficient out there, we're also going to multiply it. And then we reduce this by 1. And we're going to use this a lot in this video. And um, most of the time when you differentiate, you're going to end up using the power rule because we work with a lot of polynomials and differentiating those polynomials. All right, the constant multiple rule. Um, if I have some function multiplied by a constant, again, you could pull the constant out front and then find the derivative of your function. Sum and difference rules. If you have the derivative of the sum of two uh, functions, you can separate it into sum or different separate uh, derivatives and then just add or subtract the results. So let's take a look. And uh, in this first example, I'm going to go through all the different steps. But normally, we're not going to go through all of these steps when we do this. But I just want to show how we use um, the rules that we just talked about. So we want to find dy dx if y is equal to x cubed plus 6x squared minus 5 thirds x plus 16. So dy dx, again, this is just a different notation for the derivative is going to be d dx of x cubed plus d dx of 6x squared minus d dx of 5 thirds x plus d dx of 16. So we're using our sum and difference rules to separate all these out. And now I'm going to use my uh, power rule for um, these as well. So now if I use my power rule, I'm going to take this 3, move it out to the front, and then subtract 1 from there to get the exponent. So now this first term is going to become 3x squared. Okay, So that's my n was 3, and n minus 1 would be 2 plus, and then my uh, rule up here for multiplying by a constant, it's going to be 6 times, and then I'm going to use my power rule on that one as well. So 2x, and then subtract 1 from the exponent, so that's to the first. So take the 2, move it out to the front, change the exponent to 1 less, minus, pull that constant out, 5 thirds. The coefficient here is really 1. So I'm going to move that out to the front. So it's going to be times 1x and then subtract 1 from that. So it's 0. And again, normally, once you get the hang of this, you're not going to show that. And then the derivative of our constant here is just going to be 0. So I'm showing every step. Once we do some other examples, uh, we won't go through all the steps. But I want to make sure you understand where everything comes from here. So just a little bit of simplifying now. We've got 3x squared plus 12x, and then this is going to be 1, so minus 5 thirds, and there you have your derivative. So a little bit easier than using uh, the difference quotient, you know, raised to the third power here, this would be um, quite a bit of work. After you FOIL and simplify, uh, using our rules uh, for derivatives, it becomes a lot easier and quicker. All right, so um, go ahead and pause the video and give this one a try. And then uh, when you start the video up again, the solution will be there and you could check. And uh, as always, if you have questions, make sure you uh, ask. All right, so uh, here's the solution to uh, this problem. Um, you should have gotten 8x cubed plus 6x minus 5. And if you want to go ahead and pause and take a look at the work here, um, again, we're going to do the derivative uh, separately using of each of these um, different parts of the function. And uh, again, we'll pull the constant out to find the derivative of x to the 4th. You bring the 4 out to the front, and then you decrease the exponent by 1, so the 4 goes to a 3. Again, the constant comes out, 2 goes to the front, this becomes 1 less, and so on. Um, so make sure you go through all the practice, 
and I uh, have a really good handle on this because uh, we'll be using it a lot. All right, so uh, let's do uh, one more example here and then another you try it. So determine if the curve y equals x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 2 has any horizontal tangents, and if so, where? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative, okay, and horizontal tangents will occur when dy dx is equal to 0. So we're going to find the derivative. We're going to set it equal to 0. Um, so dy dx. So the first term is going to be 4x cubed. The second term I'm going to have negative 2 times 2. So that's negative 4 and x1 less than that. And then this is just going to be 0. So here's my derivative. And then so this is step one. Step two, I'm going to take my derivative and set it equal to zero. And I'm going to factor out a 4x. So that gives me x squared minus one is equal to zero. So a little more factoring. Actually, I don't need even need to factor. So I'm going to use my zero product property. 4x is equal to zero, which means that x is equal to zero. So there's one of the spots. And then x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. x squared is equal to 1, which means that x is equal to positive or negative 1. So what that tells us, therefore, the curve has horizontal tangents at x equals negative 1, 0, and 1. All right, again, if you have any questions, make sure you ask. Uh, go ahead and try the next example. Um, if you want to pause the video, and then when you restart, the solution will be there. Um, otherwise, you can just wait, and it will pop up for you. All right, so um, here's the work for uh, this you try it problem. So here's our derivative over here. So make sure you got the right derivative. And then if we want to find the horizontal tangents, that's where uh, our slope is going to be uh, 0. So that's why we set it equal to 0 here. And then we solve our derivative uh, for the values of x. That will make it 0. And we get that x is 1 third and 1. All right, so um, that's it for this video. Uh, again, if you have any questions, make sure that you ask. It's very important that you ask. And uh, make sure you're doing enough practice uh, so that you can uh, get a good grasp of these uh, concepts. And we'll see you in the next video.